According to a report in Variety, Academy Award-winning actor Matthew McConaughey was offered the role of the main villain in the upcoming Marvel film, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. However, the trade claims that McConaughey actually turned the role down, and James Gunn and company are still looking for their antagonist for the sequel. Josh, do you buy or sell Matthew McConaughey turning down the villain role for Guardians 2? Well, I think the obvious move for me right here is to like look off into the distance and talk slowly about a Lincoln. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't <laughs> and rub rub something yeah, in your like, fingers. Yeah, I'm not holding anything. I don't. I would love to see him in something like this. He's never done a superhero movie. He's, I mean, the, the McConaughey sense is in in full force. I, if he could bring anything to the next Guardians of the Galaxy, that would get me even more pumped to see a movie I'm already super excited to see. I'd totally buy him as the villain in this. It's a shame that he's not going to be it. Dennis? I buy that he turns it down because I, I figure, you know, obviously but long before when he was doing, uh, what was those movies? Fool's Gold. Big romantic Gold comedies. And, yeah. And, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, we, hey, we, Fool's Gold. No, that's we, we, we weren't really trusting his decision making, but lately he's been on the money with True Detective and Dallas Buyers Club and Mud. I feel like if he turned it down, he had his reasons. Maybe it's not big <laughs> enough or maybe he wants to be a, a different role that's more prominent or something that returns. I don't know. So I buy that he turned it down just based on his recent decision making. Hmm. I buy that he turned it down as well, although I'm incredibly disappointed. I mean, having an actor of his caliber in a movie like this would have been phenomenal. But when you think about it, what really brought on the McConaughey's, the thing that brought on the McConaughey's, if you listen to him talk about it anyway, is the fact that he made the decision to start turning down the big paycheck roles and start doing more autistic films and things like that. And unless, you know, it's by a director named Scorsese, then maybe <laughs> then I'll pop into something. But I don't think he's done with that yet. I don't think he's done with doing those types of projects yet. And also, you cannot discount a little bit of the Joaquin Phoenix here thing too as well is that when you sign up with Marvel you are signing a bit of your soul away because Marvel will not let you just sign up for one film they're going to want you even if they don't have plans to use you they want you to sign a like three film deal or four film deals and they call upon you at any time to come back that's probably something he's not excited to do right now so while I would love to see him as a villain in this film I gotta agree with you Dennis I, I agree with his decision at this point so wait did I botch that so I said bye but I should have said I, I sell his decision no you said you, you said you sell it you sold oh yeah okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you yes. sold it. Um, I am gonna buy the decision for him uh, passing as well too just because you I think you nailed it with the, the Marvel deal is that for what he's doing right now he is going after these other roles now I think that he's gonna land in a big genre film because I Eventually. remember oh, yeah. I think I and I, I think like sooner than later I do think but I I, I think that it's going to be something along the lines like kind of what Brad Pitt did in like a World War Z or or something along those lines or something like a little bigger because he's been doing these dramatic roles I think there'll be something big I mean I don't know maybe he pops into uh, and it's not just because I'm, I'm uh, an addict but like a Star Wars film or something <laughs> like that like I think that there's something else that he could do and it might be a Marvel film. It could be, but maybe this was the role, like Dennis said, this just wasn't the one that he was feeling. And I respect that, and I think that that's great, and I think that, Mar that at least that they're talking. And I know that they're talking to all these big-type actors that should be right for the role. And if they thought McConaughey was good, then maybe they'll find somebody... <laughs> that, that means that someone else of his caliber will be approached and hopefully will take that role. But I think we'll, this is not the last we'll see of McConaughey in, uh, in talks for one of these roles. And I think another thing to keep in mind, too, here is this, is that... Once you make a decision for a character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this isn't like Christopher Evans who was in like a Fox superhero right. film and then moved over to a Marvel superhero film, even though they were all Marvel characters. Once he does that, That's he's it. done. Yeah. yeah. And and I believe like he talked a, a while ago about. I think he would be interested at some yeah. point being a big comic book thing. It might just be that this isn't the role he wants. He wants something different, and he knows if he takes this one now. It's, that's it, he's done. Okay, but if he's a villain, and you guys are talking about the three movies mm -hmm. and signing on like the old studio system where you know, like you had Catherine Hepburn, she had to do 15 movies with Paramount or whatever. If he's the villain, he's gone, he's dead. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. And, and yeah. they, I mean, look what they've done with Thanos. And and Loki. 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 They, yeah, they say, especially okay. someone when it's some, uh, like someone's caliber of McConaughey, you want to sign him on for true. a bit. Like, cause, and we don't even know the Red Skull. I mean, they, they think, because Hugo Weaving even signed on for more too. Yeah. We don't even know if he's going to be back or not, but he's still locked into a contract. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he doesn't want to come back. No, but, but he has to. But he <laughs> said, if they make me, I'm going to have to. Right. I mean, so it's one of those things. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.